Welcome to Devlog Zero. What you just saw is my current project and it's a game. Well, obviously, it will be available on mobile devices, but it won't be the greatest game of all time because it's not my main project and I definitely don't aspire to earn any money with it. I mean, it will be pretty cool, but it will probably not happen. So, the game is called Down Down Die and it's about getting really far down into an endless dungeon. Well, it's currently endless because I didn't make an end yet. Maybe I'll We'll never do it, let's see. And on your way you will collect many items and weapons that make you stronger and you will fight many enemies that get increasingly strong. And with that being said, now let's actually start with the devlog. Like every glorious platforming game, my game also needed platforming controls and because of that I threw together a little script that lets me control the amount of jumps, for example triple or double jump, and that gives me control over the gravity scale when falling and rising, to give it that snappy feeling you can see here. But platforming is definitely not the main mechanic of this game, so I didn't spend a lot of time on it. The next point on my list was to actually create a system that allows you to use certain weapons and that allows me to create weapons very easily, with different combos and stats. And to achieve this I'm actually using Unity scriptable objects. But after creating this system I I noticed that I probably need something that I can use for testing. So I designed the first enemy, which was this little bat here. It flies around randomly and without a real goal, but if the bat sees you, it starts to chase after you. And when the bat is in the attack range, it starts doing dash attacks. So then I just created a script called General Health Manager that makes entities attached to the script killable and which lets me control the visual effects of receiving damage and dying and stuff. And this script combined with the bat looks like this. Next I made a system for play input including horizontal movement, jumping and the inventory. Then I made a giant system for loading and saving rooms, managing all the possible enemies, a background tiling system with parallax effect, a difficulty curve and a system for lights. And I called this behemoth the room manager. Afterwards I actually gave the pre-made inventory a usage which was storing items. And the first item I actually created was a bomb, which is damn powerful. And for those who haven't noticed it already, I created a little companion, which is a little lantern with tiny flapping wings that flies around the room and follows you around. And in addition, it carries your secondary weapon. With all the systems in place, I had time to do something creative. And the first creative thing I did was creating a menu slash lobby, which is currently a little cozy city with different buildings that have different purposes. And I have already created the settings menu and the upgrades and customization menu, ignoring the fact that there aren't any customizations yet. And I have to say that I'm actually pretty proud of how the lobby turned out, because it looks pretty beautiful. After the menu I went on with creating enemies and the second enemy I created was a skeleton. The skeleton is a patrolling enemy so it stays on one height and when it sees you it starts to attack you. But the way how the skeleton attacks is not really special because it's just using a saber and it's not really hard to kill it because it's one of the first enemies you will encounter in the game. The third enemy is a ghost with a really classical design approach, but I still think it's fairly cute and kind of adorable. And yeah, like the bat, it also patrols in the air. And when you are in the range of it, it will track you down and eventually start shooting bolts of concentrated energy. And killing the ghost can be a little bit tedious because it always flies around and, and keeps a safe distance, but when you kill it, it just bursts into some particles. In my opinion, it's not really hard to fight the ghost when it's alone, but when there are other enemies, it can be really, really annoying and hard to fight against, which makes the need for skill a little bit higher. And the fourth and last enemy was a walking bomb. Literally, just a bomb that walks towards you and if it's next to you, it just sits down and explodes. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, and that's it. Oh, that's all I wanted to share, because I definitely did a whole bunch more, but I didn't want to stretch out the length of this video. Considering the fact that this is more like an introduction for my project, however, if you want to see how I accomplished certain things, then you can ask me in the comments and I will either try to answer it, or I will make a video about it. Yeah, and making videos is definitely something I enjoy, and I will try to keep it up and improve my skills. So if you enjoyed this video, I would be extremely happy if you would leave a like, and maybe if you want to see where the project is going, and if you want to watch more of my content, then you could subscribe. So, this was all I had to say, and maybe we will see us in the future. Bye bye!